Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. Good to see you. You guys having fun? Yeah. Oh, a great time. Any drinks in today? Any yeah. casual time or just working? He's still young, man. That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the nights are for. Finally, I did. It is Comic Con, it is a marathon. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. You look at people at the beginning of the con, then you look at them like on Sunday, the pictures on Sunday, and it's like. Yeah. It's all the Looking back at your Battlestar Galactic experience, Battlestar Galactic, that experience, describe it in three words. Three words, that's a good one. <laughs> Learning. Uh, um, groundbreaking. I'm going to count that as one word. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and essential. And timely. And intelligent. And provocative. <laughs> and on and off. I broke the rules. That's all right. So what was the biggest surprise for you? What was the thing where you were like, you thought the character was going to go one way and it went somewhere else? What was the thing that made you were most surprised your character by? With my character? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'll tell you, when... when um, I felt... I felt that, it, that we were rushing over the fact that Hilo... On Hilo's betrayal and the, and the conflict in the beginning, when he found out that Hilo was indeed a satellite, you know, when he shoots her, he, he comes close to killing her. He's torn her. He's obviously in love with this, this woman who he now knows is a satellite, he's the enemy. I felt like that conflict was a little rushed over. That said, I was a young actor who was incredibly invested in this character. And, and, and I think my pride and ego got in the way a little bit because I understand, I started understanding very quickly how difficult it is to write a television series. And when you've got 42 minutes, you've got as big of an ensemble as we have, there's only so much you can fit in. you got to move that story along. And I actually put up my first little fight right at the beginning when that conflict was over overwritten because we went from basically me shooting her and then us having to be on the same side, which convinces me that she's she's against you know, the sidelines and she's on my team, to us talking very glowingly about who the baby's going to look. It was too quick of a step for me. I'm like, it's just not true. Circumstance is not real. I remember that being a big issue for me in the beginning. But, you know, we, we made it work, and I also learned a big lesson on that, and I just played against the line. And that was a big thing for me. So, yeah. That was one for me, for sure. You're quite the little multitasker, aren't you? You're a great Lord of the Rings fan. So in this world of reboots and remakes and everything else, if they said, hey, they're going to remake Battlestar Galactica, you get the choice of who plays your character. What actor would you want to play you know, in the reboot? That's a really interesting question. I don't know who I'd say, man. It really depends on the age and stage or what have you. If they were going to redo it, they, they're rebooting it. I mean, I'm a fan of actors in general. I have so much respect for this craft and people who do it properly and, and who go to those, those dark and truthful places that actors need to go and we put the ego to side. Um, I'd have to get back to you on that, man. There's a lot of young talent out there that I'm seeing coming up. And international talent, man. That's one thing about this day and age, 2017. I've seen projects from all over the world. Man. Uh, you know, Netflix is incredible with what they're doing. They bring stuff from all over the world. That's what we need right now in this world. We need to see stories from different cultures all over the world. That's that's what will bring us together. That's we will encourage peace and positive discourse and dialogue. We need that. And that's what battle started getting back in the day. Was there any open talk on set about how you guys did that? You really did have a crew made up of people from all walks of life coming together to try to work together. Was that a thing that you guys intentionally did, or did it just happen? I mean, Ron, Ron and David obviously created that. That was Ron's intention. That was all very calculated and happened. That said, Ron will tell you, David will tell you, that no matter what you've written, how brilliant it is, when you bring a bunch of actors together and you give them those lines, and you put them together, the chemistry that they have, the, the things that actors define are things that you can never even imagine and see. And they will manipulate and take 
take it in a different direction with the song. But most often, it's something you have to honor, but it's also, there's, it's right for the opportunity. It's like, wow, we didn't even think of that. That's fantastic. Let's take that in that way, and let's write for it. And Ron and David attended, and they had to write for it constantly on the show, because they wrote a scene in a certain way, they expected to go in a different direction. Once the actors got their hands on it, they took it in a completely different direction. Um, your, your, speaking of that, your character spent sort of the early part of the show sort of more isolated from the rest of the cast. Who did you have chemistry with that like, did sort of change what what your character was? Do you remember an instance? Well, I'll tell you this. Grace and I, always, you know, in the beginning it was mostly Grace and I. <laughs> Some scenes with Trisha, I made, you know, some scenes with Katie. Katie and I, what we did as actors, young actors, we were very passionate about our work. We just always did backstory. So they were the scene in a certain way. We always gave it relevant backstory with history. Katie and I did that right away. We were in the economy together. We were like best buddies. We'd known each other a long time. I'd seen her go through a lot of shit. I knew specifically about her demons, probably more than a lot of people. So that gave her relevance. As soon as we shared a scene together, I even saw that. Like, these guys, they know each other. They care about each other. Grace and I would do the same thing. Again, back to that 42 minutes. There's only so much you could do in that time. We would go, and even in the small, seemingly insignificant scenes that we had, Grace and I would do a bunch of backstory. We would make up what had transpired between the last time the audience saw us and the scene that we were doing. And it gives it more layers. It gives you more stuff for the writers to work with, and for us as actors. It gives you something to work with, it gives you something live to work with and come into. As good as the writing was, it always needs that as actors, and, 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 and that's where I had that kind of right behind. What do you think it is about the show that keeps it a fan favorite? I mean, there's so many aspects. I think for a science fiction show, it was really groundbreaking. There wasn't too many television shows. I don't think you can almost argue there wasn't really any television show at the time when it came out. Well, the parallels to what was happening in the world at the time were so obvious. It was really provocative. You know, people always refer to it as a Western space. And it really was. And they were touching some very, very sensitive issues. At the time in America, it was getting very, very divided about the war in Iraq. The show touched on all those issues. I mean, we do it in the context of sci fi. A lot of people would ignore it, but it didn't get too heated. It definitely caused a lot of intelligent discourse, a lot of heated discourse. you got to remember, too, so much has transpired since in terms of social media and forums. And that is the main medium that people argue to, that they, that they discuss topics, that they debate things. Back then, it was really like blogs, small chat rooms. These things were just starting off. So it was very limited in that way show was probably the catalyst for social media even becoming as big as it did because I know that Battlestar Galactica was very, very active as a topic in that way back when we started. Thank you guys. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.